Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all your support this year, for all your likes, comments and subscribes. I truly appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome. So this is a collective reading for you all from the 23rd of December to the 30th of December. Now on the 30th, we have the full moon in Cancer, depending on where you are in the world, obviously. Um, this is a time where we focus on family and friends, but also it's a time where we might call into question our romantic relationships and whether we're satisfied. Um, so some people are going to be making decisions around this time, I feel, if not actually taking action. Okay, so let's see what we get for the collective energy. Um, it's general, so you know it might. Well, it's not going to resonate for everyone, obviously, but some things might. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so you're being guided to trust your intuition, be patient, think carefully before you make any decision. Yeah, but some of you are really tapping into your soul and what it tells you within, rather than what everyone else is telling you, okay, which is important. Yeah, there's going to be, for some of you, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change and spreading your wings. So strong messages here, two major arcana. Um, you know, for a lot of you, you've been through some life lessons. It's really what I'm getting here. Um, you know, it says life experience. In the spring, for a lot of you, things will be very different in your lives. Okay. So getting Scorpio and Pisces, a lot of water energy here in particular. So let's have a look um, at these cards. So we've got quite a lot of major arcana, actually. Um, one, two, three, four out of seven. So yeah, powerful time, definitely for a lot of you. Um, okay, yeah, and we're also just looking, sorry, here. We've got two fives, so changes certainly happening okay so some people have definitely felt trapped in a situation maybe negative thinking thinking you know I've got to stay in this situation but who says yeah seriously um, I know it might be complex if you have families you're in a relationship um, this could also be addictions for some of you, okay? There's something that has made you feel quite trapped. Um, but a lot of you are going to have the strength to move forward. Okay, you're definitely being guided and protected by your angels. Um, Archangel, Jophiel and Ariel. We've got Capricorn, Leo energy here. So yeah, in Capricorn season, which is now, <laughs> um, this is where there's going to be a lot of strength needed. Maybe some forgiveness and compassion for something that's happening in your life. 
Um, you are going to receive a blessing though. It's, it's like you're going to be given some extra strength. Two doves here for peace. Yeah, so coming out of that dark period. And then there you go, you've got a successful time with the King of Earth. Opportunities coming your way, feeling quite abundant. Because um, both these cards have like a rainbow here, so I'm just seeing blessings for a lot of you. Um, being responsible, generous, a, a transformation, expressing yourself. Some of you have to, to talk to someone about how you feel. And, you know, this is around your commitment, I feel, with the King of Earth. So either with your partner, um, whether that's the husband, rather, you know, or whether you're the husband... Interesting that we got the moon. Um, so yeah, something being revealed around this full moon. And it, it doesn't have to just be tangible. It could be something within. Like a download that you feel. Psychic insights. Again, your angels are working behind the scenes to make this happen. Um, now with these two certainly getting fears coming through that have been holding some of you back and the moon helps you release those fears the moon is a time for purging for a lot of people releasing emotions you know as well things that no longer serve you so it doesn't just have to be a person as I said it can just be something within you that you need to let go of for next year. A lot of Earth actually, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Pisces there again and Taurus. Okay so some of you have been through a life lesson. Um, I'm surely getting and some of you were in a marriage with the King of Earth and the Hierophant here. Again, there's quite a lot of fears. So some of you, you want to move on, but you've got fears around money, maybe the home, because you were in a, a commitment. Um, but you have to kind of accept, in a way, that for some of you it was a life lesson. And there's also um, a lonely energy coming through here for some of you, which does happen over the holiday, so I understand. Um, and you're being guided to accept help from others. Some of you are reluctant to reach out sometimes. Um, but, you know, if you're feeling a certain way, maybe there's someone you can reach out to. Just for a little bit of support. I'm, I'm really getting a sense of some of you really having fears around money, though. Watching your pennies, you know. Um... And maybe because over the holidays you've spent a bit too much. Again, that, that happens a lot, doesn't it? Um, a lot of generosity, though, from a lot of you. Thinking of those who are alone. Because depending where you are in the world, um, some of us have to be alone. Um, you know, I know I feel very fortunate, but... In the UK, as you probably know, in certain parts, um, some people are now forced to be alone due to the change in, in certain areas and lockdowns. Now, this also speaks of a divine union that is on a lot of your minds. Okay, There's a lot of contemplation over this time. I strongly feel here. Okay, let's clarify these cards. So there's a delay, and some of you it's because you're feeling trapped. Yeah, some of you need to communicate how you feel. And for some of you it really is about moving on from someone. 
running, you know, walking away and someone's going to feel quite bitter and that's what holds you back. So, you know, over the holidays, some of you feel it's not the right time. So that's why there's a delay. Could be in January when some of you actually um, go ahead and do this. Wow, yeah, there you go. Some, as I just said, someone's going to be bitter. We get angry woman. Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Queen of Pentacles and the King is here. So for some of you it is a marriage that you're deciding to find the strength to move on from. Wow, two fours. Okay, yeah, so some of you, you have to move from your home. Um, and there's obviously going to be communication between you and this person about this. Healing is going to be needed here. Um, and I also feel this other person, for those of you walking away from a situation, the other person is going to try and put things right. But a lot of you are not going to want to accept this. So what about the moon? So there's someone on your mind. Um, now interesting actually the moon is the feminine energy. So you know if you're in a twin flame connection some of you are thinking about reuniting strongly coming through there there's there's someone on your mind anyway as I keep getting and we've got um air energy here Aquarius Libra Gemini yeah someone who's going to feel very um bitter at a loss um, due to this situation. I don't know if you just heard the seagulls outside, I just heard them, they just flew by. So there's a sign for some of you. Now, seagulls are a sign of looking at things from a different perspective um, in terms of what you want. So some of you are focusing on a loss strongly missing someone that's what's coming through there uh, we've got 44 so four 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 um your angels are around you protecting you yeah there's definitely going to be some endings here of divine well it doesn't have to be divine but um unions coming to an end, marriage for some of you. And there's a lot of energy of the feminine being left behind. So this could be a lot of masculines here um, making this decision, but you know, it can be male or female. It's the energy I'm reading. Wow, okay, so we've got the King of Swords here. We had the Queen here. So a separation, as you can see, someone walking away. Um, I do feel marriages, to be honest, commitments. And this card is also a lawyer. So again, you know, it could be divorce. That's where the loss of money comes. Something legal. And a lot of anxiety, yeah, feeling stuck during this time. So, yeah, it is stressful, certainly. Okay. Um, really feel we need to then get a few messages on after this period, what might happen for the collective. Wow. They just flew out, as you saw. Okay, so we'll take those. So 
So yeah, certainly a lot going on. Um, juggling emotions, needing to make a decision. There's going to be some quite challenging communication between you and this person. Um, maybe some not very tactful communication. There could be children involved here as well. Um, we've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini again. And delays strongly coming through. So, you know, obviously, because of our situation, for some of you it might be difficult to actually move forward. Um, you're going to have a complex decision. Maybe feel a bit confused. A lot of procrastinating about what to do. But you've got the three of water. Perfect. Um, celebration. This is also reunion energy. Um, being, you're being guided to, to just let go a little bit. Page of Air also is the spying card. So some of you might be spying on someone else here and you're unsure about whether to reach out for a reunion. That's really coming through. Wow, yeah, there you go, visit. This is what, after this situation, a lot of you then want to reach out to someone, but you're in two minds about whether to do it. You want to apologise, or an apology is coming your way, okay? Take what resonates, you know, flip this, by the way. So there might be communication online. Yeah, there you go, a message. Um, I'm really getting age gap because we've got a lot of pages coming through here. Page, page, page here. Um, quite a sweet message though that they want to send and some sort of flattery, let's say. Um, they're going to be quite creative. Again, I'm getting like a moving home energy as well for some of you. Wow, another message, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, about commitment. So some these people I'm picking up on are really going to be procrastinating about whether to reach out. But I do feel they do it. So three of water. Okay, well that came out over here, so we'll, we'll take we'll take what spirit guides us to do. We've got a single energy here, displeasure. So you know this is really around this situation here. I feel this person is going to be single, in case you're wondering. I think someone just asked that in their head, and that's why spirit gave us that card. That can sometimes happen. And that's beautiful. The Four of Wands, 11-11 card. Um, there's a trip, again, a visit from someone from the past, because notice she's looking back. Number 33, you might be seeing double numbers. So, you know, we've got two energies here of a visit, and this one, notice there's another energy. Someone might be trying to get in the way. But as Spirit just said, they're going to break free, whoever this is, and be single. Um, strongly coming through there. The delay might be because of their home, yeah, because they've, they've got to move out. So any other messages here for the collective? Yeah, so... A bit defensive, so you might be defensive, they might be a bit defensive, um, but the person actually has a lot of emotions. They're not going to express it all, but they're very loyal. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot of water here, actually, yeah. Single energy again. Okay, so 
certainly some endings are going to start happening, I feel, um, around the end of this year and into January. So let's get um, a Nature's Whispers card for the collective. So interesting, we got another five here. Um, actually, did we get any fives? No, <laughs> I don't know why I said another five. Um, just have, oh, we did. Sorry, yeah. It, sometimes with these readings, you forget because you're channeling um, what you what you said. We had two fives. Yeah, <laughs> change. Okay. Um, clear out the old there you go so a lot of moving on from situations I feel tapping into what the heart and soul tell you to do if this isn't clearing out people you know so to speak um moving away from people it's things as I said before with that ego card there material things maybe addictions behaviors Tapping into your wisdom. Um, there could be children involved here, but um, again, there's a rainbow, so you're blessed. I do feel spring is important for a lot of you in terms of a change. So it might not happen right away, but there is a beautiful future ahead. Some of you are going to have a family in the future, children. Some of you have a spirit baby guiding you. Now this really resonates, doesn't it? I think this is the theme of this reading. Be true to your heart. So listening to your heart and soul, what, what it tells you. Um, you know, notice this gem she's holding in her hand. So the one you know is for you. Because this card is quite beautiful. We've got two ships here so it is a case for some of you moving away from one person and moving towards the one who speaks to your soul and your heart um, it's like a soul song because we've got the shell with a ship here and a gramophone so a lot of you you're being drawn back to this person or to this person because um you, you've just got this knowing and the same soul song. And there's a butterfly here for transformation. So this will change things for a lot of you. Two birds here. You could be seeing two or something. It's got a lot of two in this card. Okay, and... There you go, then you can have this new, these new experiences and possibilities. A lot of abundance, look all the abundance. The butterfly again for transformation. Green here showing a healed heart chakra. Following your heart, the horse for strength. Again, spring energy. Spring is when obviously things bloom, so a lot of... Um, Reunions and situations are going to bloom. 18 equaling a 9, spiritual change. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, everyone. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, collective reading. Please do comment if it resonates. I hope you'll click the like button as well. Wishing you peace, love and light on your journeys for the rest of this year and moving into 2021. Thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you soon.